Good afternoon, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, everybody that's going to watch this video eventually. Um, this is Rhapsody. This is another LVI tutorial. I have been I have been told by a couple of people that LVI, my original LVI tutorial, is extremely, extremely quiet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the steps to show you how to do LVI again. We're going to go ahead and start with the installation process. When you first enter LVI, after you've installed it and actually put it onto your into your WoW add-ons folder, it will look like this. This is LVI. This is the beginning. So it'll ask you, would you like to set up everything or would you like to leave it alone? What you do is you press continue. Set up CVARs. I have no clue what CVARs actually are. I just set them up. I think it's so they can control WoW interfaces and WoW add-ons or the WoW interface the way that it wants to be set up and controlled. The next one is chat. Change chat from one channel to two channels. You have the loot and trade channel and then you have the general channel. Then you have a log. Of course what happened to you and your actions. You set it up, puts it in two different windows. Next is the color. It's not important, but I like mine. Class color. Obviously I'm a hunter right now, so I want it to be a hunter. Next is high resolution or low resolution. What resolution are you running? Are you running are you running 1080p? Honestly, are you running a higher resolution than 1080p? 4K is a big option out there and a lot of people I know are playing on 4K resolution screens. I'm not because I'm not going to pay the money to build one. But here we go. I choose high resolution. It's, it compresses everything. It makes everything fit the screen the correct way. What are you going to be? Are you going to be physical DPS, caster DPS, a healer or a tank? Obviously, this early in the game, no one really knows, but obviously a hunter is physical DPS. Aura bars and icons. Aura bars and icons. Icons are these. Aura bars are the bars that will appear above your character as you have buffs and debuffs. I'll show them to you in a little bit. That's the beginning process. That's the easy process for LVI. Let's finish it. Wait for my computer to load it back in and we'll continue on to the next screen. Alright, so it'll, it'll tell you a website that you can go to. This is uh, automatic. I disable it. You don't have to. I hide it. Now then, we're going to type slash EC and press enter. This is the LVI configuration menu. Action bars, bags, buffs and debuffs, the chat, your data texts. Your data texts are these things down here. Uh, your FPS, your current server connection, your current memory, if you hover over it, the realm time, or the ser or your personal time. Realm time is obviously uh, 9.03 p.m. or 6.02 p.m. I'm three hours ahead of the realm time. And then you have copper, gold, whatever, whatever you have. That's your data text. Name plates. When you have name plates enabled, these are nameplates. See all those little blue and greens and things like that? Those are nameplates. That's for... Those are for friendly targets, which in, you enable with Shift-V. V enables uh, non-friendly targets, as you can see. It's the same in WoW. This will allow you to make it bigger. Let's go ahead and change the font, font size up a little bit. This will make it bigger so you see what you're attacking or what you don't see mine stays around 12 it pretty much has everything that's for every that's for all of it we're gonna continue on to the skins this is the skins that are no longer blizzard everything here is controlled by LVI now so let's move on tool tips tool tips are these see that little box there right there at the bottom right of your screen it says bore that is a tooltip. If you hover over something, it'll tell you what they are. This is a Den Grunt. It's a level 105 Ogremar character. And it's flagged for PvP. That's so no idiots come over here and attack the starting area. Then you have unit frames. This is an extremely long one. This is the player frame, the target frame, the target of target frame, target of target of target frame, the focus frame, the focus target frame, the pet frame, and the pet target frame your arenas and bosses and and even when you get into it a little deeper it's every little frame that's in the game it 
it can be daunting, but we're gonna get through it. I promise you we will. I promise. Let's continue on with naming everything. You have your unit frames, of course, and then we're gonna go to filters. These are I don't filter anything. I don't it's a buff and debuff filter. It changes the colors of your of your aura bars whenever you have a filter set to show that you actually have that on you. Plugins. Eh, I don't use plugins. Profiles. This is to save a profile. If I want to, I can click down and choose one of my many profiles that are already set. Um, if I choose one, my entire my entire UI changes immediately. It changes to what it is. Uh, so if I want to copy it from, let's say, my ex mother-in-law's druid, I don't know. I would just click on that. Lockyette, which is my lock, more warlock, my druid, my healer, my hunter, my DK, my mage, my rogue, or either one of my monks for some reason, either one of my monks for some odd reason, my paladin and my warrior. If I want to, I can change them and get to them. The credits, all credit does go to 2QI. 2QI is the number one. It's the best UI I've ever used. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a basic how to set up a frame the way you want it. So, we're going to type slash EC and we're going to click toggle anchors. In the toggle anchor, you will notice that there are multiple, multiple, multiple bars. These are all of the frames. These are where the bosses are going to be. And I'll go over each one of them. I'll move everything around. Most of them are fairly straightforward. Lost control. Let me, it'll it pops out in the middle of your screen telling you that hey guess what you have a stun on you you have a this on you you have that on you that's what that is so the bodyguard frame this is a new frame for Warlords of Draenor you have a bodyguard you can get them with your entrance to or with your garrison so let's continue on with that you have your target frame your focus frame your cast bar for your targets underneath your targets frame and your focus cast bar is underneath your focus frame. The boss button, uh, let's go back to Tordos. Remember how you had to kick the shells in Tordos? Well, that's what this is for. This is the button that you would click or use to eat for Tordos. Alright, then you have your target of target frame. I don't like it, but I use it, so there it is. You can move it anywhere on your screen. As you can see, you already have a grid, so you can line everything up nice and pretty. There's your cast bar. You have bars 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These can be extended. I'll show you that in a little while. You have your raid frames, your 40-man raid frames, and your party frames. These are obviously just, if you want to, your party frames are, you know, ob obviously just the 5-man party, your 40-man raid frames, and then your 25 and up raid or. 10 to 25 raid frames or the regular raid frames. These are your pet raid frames. This is where for instance if you have pets turned on this is where the pets would show up. I keep them off because I don't like it. This is your main tank and this is your main assist. Main tank is this one. Main assist is this one. With the main tank frame out you're going to have the loot frame and your vehicle frame. If I'm sitting in a Traveler's Tundra Mammoth, for instance, you know you have extra seats. This is where you kick out the two people so you can have the extra seats. This is your micro bar, and this is the ticket frame. This is your debuff bar, and this is your player, this is your buff bar. And this is where you see when people log on, don't log on, or log off, uh, guild people. This is your arena frame. It's bigger than your boss frame. The boss frame is meant for raid encounters most of the time and your player debuff bar obviously is debuffs that are on you currently if you get beat up or something I don't know why you would get beat up but you know it happens yes this is another daunting task there are a lot of frames you have your left chat frame you have your class bar this is if you have a I have death and decay and I have several other things on my DK, but not much on this tune so, this is your tooltip. You move it around wherever you want the tooltip. It will be there then. And I will show you this by doing this. 
now the tooltip's up here, but I can move it over here and it will be over there. So if you put it down here, it automatically puts it in the bottom of the screen. It's just set there because that's where they set it. Now let's put everything back semi the way it was. Lost control sits there. And your arena frames and things like that. This is your pet bar only. Mostly only hunters have that unless you're a warlock. The vehicle seat frame and your battle net frame. We're going to move everything around a little bit just to make, it, make sure that you see what everything is. Boss button. I keep it pretty close to the center of my screen. And the target bodyguard frame will just disappear because obviously you're not level 90 or above or 100. So we're going to lock everything and now we're going to go into <clears throat> changing the basic appearance of your screen. When you need to change the appearance of your screen, say you don't like the way it looks right now. You have a target uh, rage scream this beautiful beautiful crappy warrior that's level one here on this server and you don't like the way it's sitting there you toggle your anchors and you move the anchor I keep mine right about there right about it eh, eh, I try to keep it right about even I don't really care it comes with the little arrows to help you line everything up just perfect I don't care about perfect alright so you have those locked into place now you want to see your portrait. So what we're going to do is we're going to click unit frames and your player frame. You see this little arrow right here? This one? This one? I'll mark it in the video. This one? You're going to click that and portrait. And then you want it to overlay. So you enable it and now you have a portrait overlay. Well you don't want it to overlay. So you just want a little portrait of yourself off to the left of your your name. That's fine. It's right there. Simple as that. I like an overlay, I'm going to leave it as an overlay. Now your target frame. I want to be able to see who I'm destroying. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on a portrait. And we're going to do an overlay just like that and enable it. And now we have portraits of every little thing. Alrighty then. Only two, the only two frames that can do this. The rest of them don't have a portrait. Uh, focus frame doesn't have a portrait. None of them have a portrait except for target and player frame. So now you have your your portraits up. Let's move on to the next thing, your action bars. I know, you're sitting here going, oh, I need more than one action bar. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to click one, make sure it's enabled, two, you're going to enable it, and six, you're going to enable it. Everything else is already enabled. Bar one is at the bottom, bar two is right here, and bar six is right here. Well, now you have a hundred abilities. No, you have 250 abilities. Well, we're going to create some keybinds. So we're going to close that, and we're going to type slash KB and press enter. These are character-specific keybinds. You're going to click that. You're going to mouse hover and press the key that you want the keybind to be. A, S, D, F, G, H, Q, W, E, R, T, and just for the heck of it, Z, X, C, V, B. Ah, I don't even know. Ah, oh, we're going to make that Y. Just because I'm creating keybinds. Now we're going to save that. Do we have to save it in that order? No. These are the keybinds I'm playing with just to show you how to do it. Well, what if you don't like it? Type slash KB again, and hover back over, and press escape. Pressing escape deletes the keybind, but it does not replace the key to its original function. So remember that when you've deleted the keybind. Blizzard keybinds are gone now. And to show face to that, I no longer have movement on my keyboard. WASD does not work anymore. So obviously I would have to go back in and reset those movement keys. I don't care right now. So, well you can't see the keybinds or you want to be able to see the letter that the keybind is we're gonna type slash EC and I need to set up a keybind so I can do this um, let's do this one, this one, this one and alright so you want to be able to see your keybinds we're going to come over here to uh oh, action bars and click font size 
Well, it's not clear enough for you. Well, let's let's change it a little bit. Let's change the outline, and we don't want L pixel. We're going to use Morpheus. No, nah, we're not going to use Morpheus. We're going to use Alt Combat. D S A S S S. Obviously, if that's not big enough for you, you have bad eyes, and you need to go to the doctor and get it checked. Not 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 being rude to you or anything. I mean, I love you to death, but you you obviously need glasses if you couldn't see these keybinds. So we're going to click save and that's the end of that. Now, your character, you want to be able to see the name. So we're going to type slash EC to see your name. And you're going to go down to unit frames. Obviously I already have it open. And we're going to go to your player frame. And then guess what we're going to do? We're going to go over here to name. And we're going to center it. I don't like it centered. I keep mine off to the left. And then we're going to change the font. We're going to go back up here to help and we're going to oh uh oh unit frames never mind we have to go back to unit frames you see the name there you won't see your personal name I don't keep it in I don't keep it inflated I don't like it inflated I want to be able to just see you know person I'm killing once again it's just a it's a preference honestly because I don't know how to uh, but here's how you do it you type bracket name and end bracket and that should be okay yep oh didn't work put the wrong bracket bracket dummy bracket yes I'm a bad bad typer so there we go ooh uh, alright so and dash s h o r t that's all you have to do click OK oh air it out and that's what I get I don't even know how to do it that's that's just how it is I don't even know how to do it Get it. I don't want to teach y'all that. I'll have to edit that out now. Thanks. Alright, but there you go. That's how you set up the basics of LBY. If you need something else, it will be just just ask. Put it in the video. I have no problem teaching you. The next video will be another tutorial on how to actually change more than that. But for now, these are the basics that you most people will use. Very few people don't. So thank you for watching and this has been Rhapsody. You have a good night.